So the Dodgers grabbed an early advantage in the series with a big win in game one. Heidi, what can you report about what they're thinking heading into game two? Well, Matt, thanks. Talking with the team and their coaches earlier, they stressed the importance of this game today. They said taking the first one was great, and it's always a confidence builder, but if they don't take care of business in game two, that first win doesn't really mean that much. A 2 0 five game series, though, now that is something they can get excited about. And Kane will make the catch, and the side is retired. Dodgers leave one. In now is Lorenzo Cain. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. You're just seeing a great game plan get executed out on the mound. They've been able to keep this lineup in check all day long. And when they have hit the ball hard, credit to the defense. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Lorenzo Cain becomes the first out of the inning. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and he takes strike two. This command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Fouled away. Now another 0-2. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start now the that, inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. Christian Yelich is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. His lifetime numbers against Kershaw. He has nine base hits in 25 tries. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Hit in the air down the right field line. Here's Kershaw with another 0-2. And it's fouled away. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Fouled off. The 0 2 once more. Locks him up for strike three. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Down the third baseline. This gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Grounded to third. Reined in. On to first. And that is a big out to lead off the home seventh. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Bellinger. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Now a ball lined to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. So only the second hit he's given up tonight. Well, that's only the second hit he's given up tonight. And the first one didn't do any damage. So he's not sweating this one at all. They haven't been able to string anything together. Turned on down the line. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Oh one, here's the pitch. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Now Corey with a swing and a deep drive to right. And as Dodger fans have heard for years, she is out of here. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. No hits to this point. The windup and the 0-1. Down the left field line and deep. 
Just not able to let that breaking ball travel enough right there. You could see his eyes light up when that popped out of the pitcher's hands, and he just hooked it foul. Hit the other way out toward right field. Garcia on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Next up is Max Muncy. He's grounded out and struck out in his two trips to the plate. Here it comes. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Fouled away. Two runs, three hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Another excellent swing right now there. Back. That's multiple home runs in the same now inning. Back. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. And oh. he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is... Daniel Vogelbach's next. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. The first baseman. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. now Digging in next, Avisail Garcia. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Owen won the count. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Wow, that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. So he got him swinging. Avisail Garcia is sent packing for the second out of the inning. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Muncy is there, and the side is retired. Josh Lindblom is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and set to stand Here in as go. the veteran the pitcher Dodgers. Clayton Kershaw no and he fouls Clayton. this one off. Lindblom Kershaw. has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Oh and two here it is. High in the air out to center field. Kane is under it. One down. Now back. And stepping in, Justin Turner singled last time up. First pitch on the way. High and deep down the left field line. His heart sank right there when that ball met the bat, but just had him out front just enough to give him another shot at potentially putting him away. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Looking to put him away, here's the 0-2. Here's a fastball that's wrapped down to left center, and this is going to get down for a base hit. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second no knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Into the box now, Chris Taylor. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And it's fouled away. Turner leads off first with one away. Fouled off. Here's another 0 2. Still no balls and two strikes.
working for the punch out and the offering. Popped him up. Urias moving to his left. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring up Mookie Betts. From the belt, the pitch. Loud contact by Mookie and a ball carrying well to left field. And that ball will stay fair and it's gone. A home run. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money. And there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason. And he did right there. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Yelich is under it. And that's the third out. Another good inning here for the Dodgers. Hey, not everybody leaves early. Back with more postseason baseball in game two after this. Stepping up is Manny Pena. He's the one to start off the ninth inning with his guys in danger of going down two games to none if they can't rally. Manny Pena is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. strike there and it's one and one his lifetime numbers against Kershaw just a one for nine on that fastball is too much for him there one and two not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here got him so the magic number for a perfect game is now down to two he's ready here's the first pitch Daniel Robertson is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one this pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. And it's fouled away. Strike three. So now he's one out away from perfection. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Fouled off. The Brewers down to their final strike. Fouled away. Ready with another two strike offering. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up. 27 down and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. So the Dodgers get another big postseason win to take a 2-0 stranglehold on this best of five division series. Yeah, Maddie, this appears to be a team on a mission right here. They're firing on all cylinders and are now only one win away from advancing to the league championship series. Dero, they're looking.